Hi, and welcome to Easy Fab Design Studio. Today we're going to take a look at no sew quilt blocks. So let's get started. This is the project we're going to be working on. Um, so by clicking on Start New Project, Templates, I already named the project Wedding, and hit OK, it brings up your templates to select from. So I'm going to click on my first ones, click Quilt Blocks, um, pick my template out, and the first thing I'm going to do, so you can see and I can work better, is to move my toolbar out of the way. You can pretty much move it anywhere you want, but in this case I'm going to move it right over here. Now you're going to just continue down the line. This is all kind of set up for you, so you don't really have to think that much. The next thing we want you to do is to insert your photo. And notice on my quilt block, we've already taken out the area we want your photo to go into. And then on another video, we'll go over how to create that own um, area using your magic wand. But on the quilt blocks, they're already designed that way for you. So to import your picture, you're going to browse. You're going to go to where your photos are kept. And I like to put them on a file in my desktop. And this is a wedding. So I'm going to go down to my wedding pictures and I'm going to click on select it and then click on open and it's going to appear on the top of my template. So I'm going to kind of move it in place and I realize it's kind of big. You have two ways of making your photos larger or smaller, either using a sliding scale or using the plus or minus zoom. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is manage our layers because we want that photo to go in the background. So click on manage layers. You notice your wedding is on the bottom, your templates on top. So just take the arrow, move it up. So now I've moved my photo behind my template. Now I still can move it around. I'm going to get it in place, making sure it still is in there. And I really like the way that looks now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our fabric in our quilt block. So that's design your template. You have the option of either adding color or adding a pattern. Um, I've already selected out that I want to work with miscellaneous designs, but we have a wedding library. Whatever you want to do, um, you can pick one from one and other designs from the other. So this is going to be my first uh, fabric I'm going to put down. And I'm going to click on the fabric, then I'm going to click on my template. And I'm going to repeat that. And if you wanted to do something bold, you can make them all different colors. It's up to you. I'm a little bit more conservative, so I'm going to take on the same color. And then I'm going to move to my next fabric design, and I'm going to pick this gray. And I'm going to keep on going. Much easier than sitting and piecing your blocks. And so much fun. You have all these great coordinating fabrics. And sometimes during this process, your photo does shift like it just did. But don't worry, you can always go back in. And now I'm ready to work on the corners. You can put different fabrics in here. You can put the same fabrics. But I'm just using this fabric here to liven it up a little bit. And I'm almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is once I've added all my fabric to my block, I'm going to make sure my photo's in place. Very simple. All you're doing is selecting your fabric. All right, so we're done. And I'm just going to make sure it didn't get out of place. And I am happy. So moving down. The next thing we want to do is if you want to insert text, pick your um, text out. Um, and then you need to be around 84, 96. Um, you can bold it. You can pick from many different colors, but I'm going to stick with black today and hit OK. And then to add the text, you click on Add New Text. Put your cursor to see the box on your template. And you can type, um, just start typing. And I'm just, for purposes today, I'm just going to type the date. You can put a name. You can put as much text as you want. Um, click outside the box. And then add your text. 
Now again, if anything has moved, you can check it again, and then we're ready to save our template. It's that simple. Um, our template is eight and a half by eight and a half. The resolution is 300. If you wanted to make a change, now's the time to do it, but I'm gonna keep it right as it is. I'm gonna call it wedding three, and I'm going to put it in my template folder I've set up on my desktop, I hit save. And then the last thing to do is print it out. So you would click on print, um, you would select it, make all your appropriate changes and add your inkjet printable fabric sheets to your printer. And there you got your no sew block.